So being a content creator and having a nine to five, a lot of people have asked me, what is your secret to getting so much done? And one of the things that I do and I wanna share with you in this video is called the three things a day rule. And that's what I call it, but there's lots of different things that people call it. You might've seen it on Google. Um, if you search for productivity stuff, you might've seen uh, doing three things a day or the one, three, five rule or any combination of those. There's lots of different ways that people have done this. I'm gonna just keep it really simple and tell you to focus on three things a day. And the reason why three things a day is because our mind is wired so that we can only do so many things. If we put a whole list of, you know, lots of different tasks at it, at least for me anyway, I can only get three things done at a time or think of those three things at a time. And so you don't want to overload your brain on doing lots and lots of things. And I, of course, I get up early and try to do those three things. Now your question may be, well, I have lots of things to do. I have more than three things that I wanna do. How do I know which three to do? That's a great question. And I'm gonna answer that um, by using what's called the urgency and importance matrix. And I'm gonna show you what that means, but first, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna write down all the tasks you have for today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into a keynote right now and I'll show you an example of a list that I made for me. All right, so here's a list, just a typical list. This is things that I would do. Now my list might be longer than this. Your, might, your list might be longer or different than this, but this is just an example. So here are some things that I would do as a content creator for today or any day. Uh, so. First, I would upload designs to Amazon, great. Uh, record a YouTube video, yeah, that's important. Uh, create a post for Twitter, which I typically do. I actually do more than one post, but to keep it simple here, uh, create a post for Twitter. Uh, four, reply to YouTube comments. I like to look at the comments and reply uh, and see what people are saying and, you know, that's good. Uh, create a design for Design with Detour. As you know, I, I do Design with Detour every day, so that's that's something I like to do every day. Uh, upload designs to Redbubble. I, I actually have more than these three, but I put upload designs to Amazon, to Redbubble, and to TeePublic. So those are good. Uh, edit a YouTube video. So that's important. I, I not only record one, but I have to edit it and, and upload it, which I, I forgot to put on here, upload a YouTube video, but you can see there's more tasks. Uh, create a post for Instagram. I'm also on, you know, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on all the social media. So that might be something that you do as well. And create a post for Facebook group because I have a Facebook group. Now, again, yours may be different and yours may be longer and mine may be longer, but to keep it simple, I got 10 here and you want to pick the top three, right? So, um, or figure out which three you're gonna do at the beginning of the day, uh, which are more important, which are more urgent. So let me show you what I think about urgency and importance. So first, urgent. Urgent tasks are uh, things on your list, are things that are time sensitive, right? So think about things with a deadline. So it could be you have to get it done by the end of the month. Uh, something that's scheduled, maybe you have an interview that you need to do that wasn't on there, but maybe there's an interview that you need to do that's scheduled, you definitely need to do that first, right? Uh, maybe there's a sale going on on Redbubble or a sale going on that's limited uh, that you wanna post about, that's kind of urgent because if you don't post about it, the sale is gonna be done and you're not gonna have that post. Uh, maybe you have a contract, maybe you during a sponsored video and you need to get that video done on a certain time, that's urgent. So a lot of things can have urgency on it. Uh, typically things with deadlines or things that are gonna end uh, are urgent. So it's time sensitive task. Uh, next thing is important. Now it's a little bit different. These are tasks with high priority, what you think are high priority or maybe uh, things that will really help the business grow or get more money or get more sales, which is why I put on here, uh, increase sales. Maybe, uh, for example, uploading designs is a way, more and more designs is a way for you to get more sales, right? Uh, creating good designs is another way to get more sales. Grow Something that grows the business, think about that. Uh, that's important because that's the thing. If you stop doing that, your business stops growing, right? So very important. Uh, something that needs to get done first in a line of tasks. So I can't move on, for instance, I can't edit my video without recording my video, right? So it's a, to record my video first, that's important before I can do any of those other tasks. 
and it's just key to your business. Without doing this, you don't have a business. That's, that's pretty important stuff. So once we know what's important and urgent, we can make a matrix like this. So here we go. So we have things that are urgent, things that are, that are not urgent, things that are important, and things that are not important. So basically you have four quadrants. The quadrant that is urgent and important, you can imagine that's priority. Uh, something that's not urgent but important, um, you know, goes over here. It is, it is important but not time sensitive, right? Uh, something that's not important but is urgent. Uh, th there's a time on it but it's not as important as some of these other ones. And then lastly, those things that are not important and not urgent either, they go here and you may, may, you may choose not to do these at all. If they're very, very low and not important at all, zero importance and zero urgency, you know, why, why are you doing it, right? Okay, so let's go back to our list and kind of mark these. So upload designs to Amazon, it is important but it's not urgent, it's not a time sensitive thing, unless you're doing designs for holidays, right? Then, then it, the urgency kind of goes up because uh, you want to make sure that you got your 4th of July designs in there a month before 4th of July, so that can, that can have urgency. So some of these can change. Uh, record a YouTube video. It is uh, important, and it could be urgent. Now this also falls in here. I put urgent because I haven't done a video in a while, and I up that in urgency because I don't want to go two or three days without a video. So now it's more urgent. Okay. Uh, create a post for Twitter. Not, imp not important and not urgent. At least not as important as some of the other ones and not as urgent. Now, you may say, well, if it's not important and not urgent, why are you even doing it? Well, it's a little important and a little urgent or actually little important, not as urgent, right? Unless there's something that you want to promote on Twitter or on social media for a sale or something like that. So then then the importance uh, goes up there or urgency, I should say. Next one, reply to YouTube comments, not important, but urgent because if I don't reply to those email, uh, YouTube comments, it gets, just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. So I want to kind of keep on top of it, but it's not as important. Like um, it's not going to ruin my business if I if I don't do it. Create a design for design with detour, which I like to do every day. I put that personally as important and urgent because then I'm gonna have a next one for the next day and the next one for the next day. So it's kind of important and urgent because I'm the one that said, let's do design with detour. So I should I should really do it. Uh, upload designs to Redbubble, important but not urgent. Same thing, upload designs to TeePublic, important, not urgent. Um, unless again, it's time sensitive for sale and, and you want it something for uh, a trending thing, then it, the urgency might go up. Edit YouTube video, important and urgent because uh, it goes along with this one. I gotta get that video out, right? Create a post for Instagram, not important, not urgent, kind of like that post. And another post, not important, not urgent. Again, not totally not important, but for this, um, for this video, I'm gonna call it that so that we have everything in different quadrants. So now that we have that, we can put them in the quadrants, right? So here we go. Record a YouTube video, yes, um, urgent and important. Edit a video, yes, urgent and important. Create a design or upload a design for Amazon, yes, very important. It's important to uh, create and uh, upload those designs at least to Amazon or create the designs because without my designs, my print on demand business will start to go down, right? So important and urgent and look, <laughs> These are my three things right here that I'm going to do uh, first, right? Now, you may have more than three here, but, and when that happens, then you have to figure out what is more important and what is more urgent and kind of prioritize this list right here to the top three. And those are your three things that you're going to do that day. And again, these things are going to move, right? So if I already recorded and edited a video yesterday, it's gonna move off of my urgent list and then now it's gonna be not urgent and move here and some of the urgent things maybe will move over here. So let's look over here, uploading designs, like I said, to Redbubble, TeePublic and other places, not as urgent today for me because there's no um, immediate holidays that I'm kind of going for, any trends that I'm going for, but if there was, then it would move to urgent. Now. And not important and urgent, um, replying to YouTube comments, like I said, 
Now, if you have something that's not important but urgent, you may want to give this to somebody else to do. If you have a team member, if you have a VA, if you have something, somebody to help you, I think this one would be good because you're spending your time on this one a lot. And if you don't have time to do these, these may get left out. So you may want some help and it's, and it's urgent, right? It's something that you want to get done, but it's not as important as these things and you only have time for these things. And again, these are uh, not urgent and important. You're going to want to plan to do these. They're not urgent now, but you want to plan it so that it doesn't become urgent, right? Make sure that you do upload your designs in time by the end of the month or whatever it is. Uh, this one's the plan one. This is the do. Make sure you do this one. This one is delegate uh, to someone if you can, if you have that. And this one is, you know, probably don't do at all. But for the sake of this, I put this here, but I actually do want to create posts and create posts for social media. So I might move this uh, up more for importance, but not urgent, right? I might move it here. But if there was anything that wasn't important and not urgent, then you may want to just delete those. You may want to not do those at all. Why are they on the list at all? Why are you doing that? Why are you surfing the internet or something, right? That's not important uh, or urgent. Whatever it is, if it falls into this category, you may have to think, is it important? Should I move it up? Or is it not important and not urgent and just delete it? So. Hopefully this really helps. This is a long way to say uh, prioritize your three things and figure out what those three things are and they're going to move and, and be different every day. All right, so there you go. Those, that's my quick uh, explanation of the three things a day rule. Now, of course, you can do more than three things a day, but you want to start with the three things a day and hopefully get those done and then find out what the three things a day are by using that matrix. Uh, of course, if you finish those three things, then move on to the other ones, the ones that are not as urgent but need to get done, and, and so on, and move through the matrix like that. Uh, I think this will really help you get things done. Uh, at least it's helped me. Uh, that's what I do. I try and get up early in the morning and get those three things done before my nine to five. Sometimes I don't get them all done, but uh, at least I get one or two and they, they're ranked in order of importance. So I get the one that's most important uh, done first. So hopefully this productivity uh, hack or productivity method is really helpful for you. Now, if you want to see a video of what I make uh, as a content creator, I have this video right here explaining how I make 10, 10 K a month with being a content creator. And you can see exactly what goes into doing that. Hopefully that is helpful as well. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.